What is going on, everybody? Uh, we have a very compelling show today, as I have a special guest uh, by the name of Berkeley uh, from Audio Labs. Is that correct, sir? Yep, Audio Lab. All right. So uh, what we're going to do, we're, we're talking about the, the dangers of artificial intelligence because, you know, that YouTube algorithm loves that. But we actually are going to stay on topic here. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting time that we're in, to, to say the least, <laughs> in that right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's in some senses, it's like a, a, a renaissance. Mm -hmm. We have these new tools and new things that empower artists, mm -hmm. but also new considerations like <clears throat> who, who's whose work is going to be uh, affected um what are the new ways that we need to be responsible all that type of thing so so it's a lot of pros and cons currently really exciting yeah uh so for, for those who don't know what artificial intelligence is could could you do a little bit of explanation of that <laughs> like from from your perspective from since you have the experience with it right yeah okay so just a quick intro about myself my name is uh berkeley malagon i'm one of the co-founders of Audio Lab, mm. and what we are is a a company that is obsessed with using AI to empower artists. Mm. So there's a lot of stuff um, changing about how we create things. We see it in visual art, we see it in writing with ChatGPT and other things like that. Um, what we want to do is focus all of the innovation into products that enable creatives to create better and to create more easily, and so yeah uh artificial intelligence like what what is that long story short it's basically any system that can learn with experience mm -hmm. so you can you can see examples of this like you can you can train a system to play a video game you can train a system to to generate things the idea is that you give it experience and it gets better with that experience mm -hmm. or give it data it can analyze the data and make more data like it yeah. and so You're the relevant about, like, stuff machine learning yeah Yep, yep. So machine learning, AI um, kind of blend together in some ways. But uh, the idea is, you know, for, for let's say for images, we've seen Open, uh, OpenAI launch Dolly, we've seen Midjourney. Mm -hmm. uh, what these systems do is you can, you can type in a prompt and it can generate an image of whatever prompt you give it. So if you say, you know, cat standing on a dog, it can create an image of a cat standing on a dog that's photorealistic or mm -hmm. of a certain art style. Mm -hmm. And the way that they, they, they train those systems is by going out into the into the world and, and the internet and crawling all images, you know, all all of the captions that go along with those images and learning how words relate to images. So AI machine learning just takes a big data set and, and learns patterns in it. Yeah. And and the funny thing mm -hmm. about that is the the biggest when, when that came out at first, there was a lot of skepticism. A lot of people were, were saying, well, this is stock images. And it was like, well, duh, it's, you, it's an image-based AI model. Like, that's, that's how that algorithm works when it crawls all the data that is available to it. <laughs> My bad. Thank you for the yeah, sub. Thank you for the sub. For the sub. <laughs> you are you're officially a part of the show now. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. keep forgetting. But, yeah. Yeah. No, it's... Um... I think uh, the the main thing that we see from the visual art world, I mean, the the first generative image stuff was was generating faces that were pixelated and 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 mm -hmm. not that impressive, but you can tell it was a face. Maybe this is like 2014, 2015. And what's crazy is that every year since then, you see the progress um, getting more and more uh, uh, impressive, more re more realistic. To the point where it can generate photorealistic images mm -hmm. of, of faces or, or or any type of image, and so it's it's really compelling to think about uh, that for music. What's that same progression going to be for music? Mm -hmm. Where we we hear AI generated music today, and and um, it's you know kind of impressive. We can tell that there's a pocket, there's there's some mixing going on, and mm -hmm. and and it's definitely of a genre, or you can describe it, and and, it, and it's it's correct. Um, but you might not put it on a playlist, right? Like it's it's not it's not actually generating bops yet, and so um, it, you know, <laughs> controversial. It's, so, it's yeah. good that you mentioned that, though. <laughs> it's good that you mentioned that uh, yeah. because remember, Spotify. One of the biggest issues with Spotify was having was dealing with the big three. You know, like Warner Brothers, Sony and umg like they did with the big three they had to license out music and then there was a whole controversy 
about, you know, playlists being fluff with a whole bunch of artists like that don't exist. And, you know, Spotify never really over uh, clarified that. They, you know, they, they you know, acknowledged that there is an existing thing. I mean, they even put out, you know, there was one of the first companies, if, if you if if you remember to have a AI based model that was exclusive to them to generate music that was similar. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I hadn't seen any generative stuff from, from, from Spotify. I'll have to research that, mm-hmm. but uh, I mean, it's, it is, it is really interesting, you know, like what, what happens to music and what type of music um, lends itself to being replaced mm-hmm. by AI with the current gen is probably, you know, that like the coffee shop background type music, um, th- those those industries um, are probably going to feel the effects first. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, again, we see it in the visual art world where it seems like overnight the art got extremely, extremely good. And, and you can imagine it, um, you know, uh, on a wall and you see them, the, the, the art being sold in galleries and stuff. And and and, and so it trips me out thinking about that in music where, where it, maybe mm. it's not coffee shop background music anymore in a few years <laughs> where, you know, there's coffee an artist <laughs> that I actually like, you know, <laughs> you know, like that smooth jazz you hear at these places. <laughs> yeah. um, but I mean, uh, some of the tech that, that we see is hinting at a future where you'll be able to type the name of an artist and the name of a song that doesn't exist mm-hmm. and the name of an album. And and it generates you know that song so you know J Cole featuring Kendrick and then you know Sunset Eve or something and like that's a song and it has lyrics and and, and mm. a really dope instrumental so so uh, it, it gives us a chance to look at the visual art world and think about what might be coming to music mm-hmm. and gives us a chance to to think ahead and what 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 should we be doing now to prepare for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I th- I think what what's happening is a lot of, a lot of the concepts that people are used to, like the biggest part of production in general uh, has changed, and for the most part, you know, they're like like it was in the digital art form. It was a lot of pushback, and something like Mid Journey isn't to be taken lightly as of right now because it does have massive utility. And I think being ahead of the curve is one of the biggest things like uh, the with the music in general, as far as like music production goes, because we all know that that's regardless of how you feel and, and how you think that you can do something better than a computer. And if a computer is locked in, mid journey is this now. And that isn't too far away from or actually it has it's been tested for years now. I mean. Uh, we, we was the other day we was talking about uh, Kai Fu Lee and you know how in his book which I, I have it right here I should I should have put it in the description box but uh, the uh, the AI superpowers yeah. and, and I remember right. when he was actually uh, going around he went down around to like every media uh, outlet and was you know telling people like look uh, AI is is exist is not to be played with is. Uh, it could be a, a major threat. It also could be a major gain, you know, uh, to what, what we have going on. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I definitely want to hear you talk about uh, one of the things that I talked about on Saturday, which is uh, your your uh, product over there, uh, which is Emergent Drums and how it functions, you know, give a good yeah. clarification on that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, um Emergent Drums is a is a is an AI that we've trained mm-hmm. and turned into a product. Um, what it does is it studied drums from every like every genre of music, every era of music, mm-hmm. um, and it learned how to generate sounds, generate drum samples for the producer. And so it's a VST AU. You can load it up in your DAW, and what you can do is uh, generate a sound. Uh, mm-hmm. If you if you say you only want a kick, you generate a kick. If it's not, uh, if it's almost right but not quite what you want, you can generate another one that's very similar to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's because the AI uh, has that capability. It can it can analyze a sound and pick a sound that's very nearby, mm-hmm. um, or or you can just do a random um, a new random sound. And and so the idea is instead of scrolling through infinite folders of 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 all your samples. Mm-hmm. It's a faster way to find the exact sound that you want. 
um, and, and, and never have to have, uh, you know, sample block where you're not sure what to put here. You don't have the sample you want. You have to go search for it. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a new way to create. It's, it's a first step towards um, taking AI and, and, and making it useful for, for developers. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, for uh, producers. Oh, I mean, I had, I had a hell of a time with it. Uh, one of the main things that I, I thoroughly enjoy about it is just the, the layout. The layout is very familiar. It is to a layout that I already use all the time, which is like, you know, the 16 pad layout uh, on the MPC. And, and then it's, it's kind of my, a line like that. I had, in the video, I actually had to use my keyboard and for some godforsaken reason, you know, FL Studio being FL Studio, you know, I couldn't I couldn't use the pads on the FL key that's supposed to be their flagship keyboard. Uh, shout out to Novation, by the way, because it is a fantastic product. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, but that uh, that that is the um, that was the design inspiration. So my my uh, producer setup uh, is around Native Instruments and Machine. So. Mm -hmm. um, I have my MK3 sitting here, and um, the in, the inspiration for it was I bought some expansion pack from from Native Instruments. I love the, their expansion packs, mm -hmm. and um, just thinking, man, it'd be cool if we could generate um, if we could generate these sounds and and then have infinite kits, mm -hmm. you know. And and so that's uh, that's the inspiration for for the um, for the UI, so it has the 16 pads, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of it is around kits and, and, and pads. So for MPC users, it, it'll be um, kind of just just like home. Yeah, because it is. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. I, I ain't gonna, uh, I ain't gonna but go. But I think I think <laughs> like it, an important point to make. I mean, I, I I wonder if your audience has seen uh, Music LM yet? That project out of Google. Um, where you can you can base they made a system where you can describe mm -hmm. you can type like the, the 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 name or like the description of a song and it'll generate the song yeah. and, and so i think that like producers aren't asking for that like <laughs> like producers aren't like saying like you want that but i get the idea like you can you build something like that and all of a sudden you like democratize making music to people that that aren't musicians and i think that's wonderful i think that's really great i think you can see in visual art that that people um love dolly and mid journey and you can people that aren't artists are able to create art that's actually compelling i think that's really good for for the human race yeah. overall yeah i, um, I but, have music lm pulled up on the screen right now um what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, share it along with you so you can take a gander with us so uh yeah, it, it, it's it's something else. I'll say that uh, the 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 first thing it's really I was, impressive. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing I thought was <laughs> <laughs> somebody's Somebody gonna be making gonna sample, sample packs. Sample packs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's exactly how I thought right here. I was laughing. That's smart. No, you you you're you're yeah. You're always up on the new thing, and and um. My my thing about it is that it's really impressive. I'm happy with what it's gonna uh, do for 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 creatives mm -hmm. or, or for people that that are I don't want to say laymen, but but th these aren't producers that are gonna get the most out of this. The people that are gonna get the most out of this are not musicians. People that are gonna be able to type in something and 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 uh, and, and get compelling music without ever having to train and all that. Mm -hmm. um, what Audio Lab is building is, is you know we are looking at all the research. There's like this fire hose of research coming out every day. Mm -hmm. and, and we sit at the tip of that fire hose and we like pluck the things that we think are going to be useful for producers. Mm -hmm. And then we put it and package it up in, in, a, in, a, in a product that can actually help you. Um, and, and without having to, uh, you know, learn Python or learn Jupyter notebooks or learn uh, some, some other technical thing. You just want to stay in your musical flow. Yeah. And, and so that, that's that's our like angle with 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 AI and, and, and products. Yeah, I think it's, it would benefit people to learn some type of coding, like just to be honest. And, mm -hmm. and that actually brings up a, a very good point uh, that for me, it was just like, hey, like, I think it would be important that uh, that people get into something like uh, chat GBT, which. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> can do a whole lot. But unfortunately, yeah. uh, unfortunately, from what I've seen from our community, you know, the first thing that they typed in was, oh, can it make me a melody or can it do a chord progression? I'm like, dude, you got to think bigger than that. I think uh, CMP, <laughs> he took the words out of my mouth on Twitter. I was like, yeah, these videos are very underwhelming. And look, you got to understand the concept of chat GPT uh, as far as the proximity. Like, all right, so uh, just to give people a genuine idea of what chat GPT is, it's basically a more optimized version of Google, just to keep it layman. But it, it, it's, it works and functions just like a prompt based system. Uh, however, the biggest uh, part of the prompt-based system is the amount of data that it can access and then it optimizes it and brings it right to you, right in front of your face, which brings the, the danger, the threat of it, because now, since if you can speak a, or you can type a complete sentence, uh, you can get the most out of it, like the absolute most, one of it being coding. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. and I'm like thinking like, dude, y'all, nobody, no, <laughs> nobody's going to type in how, how, but then again, they have to understand, uh, how coding works, how, how VST plugins work and so forth. Right. So I, I right. get that. And, and that's, that makes me happy because I'm not about to explain on this live stream. Uh, uh let me see. But yeah, uh, I, I no, totally. Mm -hmm. I, I think chat GPT is, um, a great example of something that uh, is is actually been trans it's been transformed into something that's actually useful. Mm -hmm. the, the the core tech behind ChatGPT has existed for years. Yes. Um, and and what OpenAI did was say, uh, you know, let's 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 work on a UI. Let's work on a, 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 a interface to using it that's more useful and natural for people. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and it's, un, it's unbelievable. Like if, if you haven't tried chat GPT, you need to just like finish watching this first and, and then go for use it. chat GPT and pay for and, it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I, they got my money. I mean, it's right. $20 a month. Um, but I use it um, almost like, like an employee and, and I like delegate mm -hmm. tasks to it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think you're right that people aren't yet fully thinking big. Like right. the people are using people are using it more like like a like a Google, like still thinking of search as the, mm -hmm. the metaphor. But I, I would just recommend you think of it more like almost like an employee and, and give it tasks. So like I ask it to do research, to to set up stuff as a table for me so I can compare data, um, convert this into this. Uh, I even uh, <laughs> this is maybe TMI, but mm -hmm. I, 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 I convinced it that it is a therapist. And so then when I have like stuff going on, I'll like ask it, like, yo, give me, give me like some therapeutic advice. And it like, it has a name and like, it has a style of communication and it like kind of gives me therapy. Like when I, when I need to talk to someone. Um, and so it, it is really, really powerful. Um, and, and definitely a great example of what the future looks like for us. You know, I think, I think in the future, just to get back to music, I think in the future is going to be this really deep collaboration with AI and creatives, mm -hmm. and 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 to to the point where every part of the creative process is going to have an element of collaborating with AI. Mm -hmm. So the the future I see is you open up some software, what today we would call a DAW, but it's not really a DAW. It's kind mm -hmm. of like a creative space, <laughs> and you you want to make a song, so you say, you know, let's come up with some song ideas. Mm. Um, and it, it knows your journal entries, it knows your text messages, it knows the emails, your calendar, it knows everything about you. And like, you might wanna talk about, you know, losing love or something, because it seems like you broke up recently based on your text messages, right? And, mm. and like, here's a song, like here's some song ideas. You start with that, it gives you some ideas for uh, like, if it, since it's a, a sad song and it knows what songs are popular right now, here are some chord progressions that might be a good pocket if you're trying to do popular music or mm. here chord progressions. And then uh, here's a basic song structure to get you started. And now you're curating and moving things around. You don't have to start from scratch all the time or have all this technical skill of like knowing all the shortcuts for everything. Um, and, and, and it's just this flow of like a creative flow to, to get what's in your head into this creative workspace. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I think prompting um, 
is is going to evolve into basically just getting the AI to understand what you want and and having it generate something that you then edit and curate. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's the the the, the future of, of of creativity. Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing about Chat GPT is probably the amount of data that is t intaking right now. Like, I think that's what a lot of people uh, don't understand is uh, since it's machine learning, uh, it trains itself almost every single day. It's already got, uh, it, it has information that bar none is the best information and it's ever growing. However, what's going to uh, really uh, extinguish itself in, in, in terms of its artificial intelligence is the, I want to say the predictive behavior. Because then that's when we're going to see if it's going to be kind of like uh, Facebook. Because Facebook trained on off that uh, with a PHP. And, and that, that's Python based, by the way. The, those guys over there was uh, using Python in, in, in conjunction with Java. Uh, but I, I also don't think that people understand uh, that how accessible it is to actually create artificial intelligence. Uh, yeah. You don't necessarily yeah. need to know calculus to build a artificial intelligence uh, database. Yeah, There's yeah. And, and what's going to happen is that um, you see it with OpenAI. What they're doing is they're turning this GPT core tech mm. into a product. And, and what you're going to be able to do if you're starting a company and you want to do an AI, uh, let's say you want to do an AI, you know, uh, lyrics feedback system, right? Mm. And maybe you're a, a songwriter, you have a bunch of data of feedback uh, that you've given to different artists and, and, and you want to build an AI system. Uh, you can start with open AI system, mm. train it a little bit. It's like it has a, a, a undergraduate degree on just everything on the planet. And then you could give it like a master's degree on your specific industry mm. and, and, and get it to be really, really good at your specific data, like your specific task, and then launch a company that's an AI company um, using GPT as the back end. So, so what you're going to see is that it's going to become easier and easier to build this tr really transformative stuff by just treating all the current AI as Lego pieces. And you're going to use just like connect different systems and have like something that changes an entire industry. So yeah, it's yeah. really like exciting. A it's a framework. Um, just exactly. Similar exactly. to like how C++ works. Like C++ in itself is its own individual coding language developed by like Microsoft. However, C++ is used more as a visual means. Like uh, Windows is C++ based. And if you see uh, how you use the computer versus you typing in data prompts to actually pull up files and, you know, access those files. Because, you know, those days, that's when everybody was like, ah, I don't, I don't know if I want to use a computer. Uh, and when, that's what makes right. uh, OS is uh, so uh, important to, to our everyday workflow. But what m most people don't understand, what some people might not understand is uh, what C++ there's called things called frameworks. Now, I'm not going to get too far into that. Again, I will show you guys in the video of what I mean, but basically it's visual to visual. And that, that's what uh, Berkeley is trying to elaborate on uh, there in that sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you, you make a good point about the jump from, you know, say something like DOS and like coding mm -hmm. um, and, and, and then going to, to an OS. I think it's a really good point to make because I think what's going to happen is a, a, this AI stuff that right now you go to you go to a website to use AI, right? You you go to a website to go use ChatGPT. We in in a few years you're not going to go somewhere to access this type of intelligence. It'll just be what we do. It'll just be built into everything. Yeah. Um, and and so you know we we no longer think about internet as a as a thing you like log on to AOL to like access. It's just the internet. It's just it's just everywhere, right? Um, and, and, and so I'm, I'm just laughing think... at the chat. <laughs> the chat is, uh, <laughs> my dog was like, hey, we're here in the IT class, brother. <laughs> brother, brother. <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead, go no, ahead. No, bro. no test, no test. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, I think in a few years, it's going to just be crazy. It's going it, it, to, that we're going to have AI as like a minimum bar. Like it has to be, um, it has to be like just 
intelligent. It has to just know. It has to just work. And when it doesn't work that way, we're going to be like, what the hell is this? You know? Mm -hmm. And so I think think thinking back, you know, coming back to music, what we're doing at Audio Lab is looking at every piece of the music creation process and thinking with like that audacity of like, yo, why doesn't this just do this? Like it should just do that. Cause like we're looking at chat GPT, like it just does it. Like, well, I want to open up my DAW. I should just do, it should just do some stuff for me. Like it should kind of just know I'm doing this type of music or it should just, just know that if I'm, if, if I'm, if I'm grabbing samples, I, I want to do this. It should just know. And so how does AI transform every piece of, of, of the music creation process. That's what we're doing now. Yeah. And and I, I have to do a shameless plug that that if if this is stuff shameless. that's that's uh, <laughs> uh interesting to you, uh, we are hiring. So um mm. if you go to if you email us at jam at audiolab.com, I'd love to to talk to anybody that's interested in helping build this stuff. Okay. So jam is uh jam at audio lab? Jam at audio lab. So so it's J A M or G E M? J A M. Good question. <laughs> Like jamming out at, at Audio Lab. Yeah, come jam out with us. All right. And I'll just put looking, and you're looking for what's spe- uh, what so specifically? We, all sorts of people. Um, it's we're super early. I mean, a lot of us uh, um, at the company um, are are doing it as a passion project. Um, I finally went full time. Like we're really early as as a company, um, but we've been lucky enough to have. Um, some some success and have the the community be so supportive and it's growing really fast and so we need all sorts of help i mean on the engineering side we need juice development mm. we need uh machine learning development back end development um and on the uh just operational side we just oh, okay. need people so that are the, just... the the juice framework basically right exactly okay. exactly okay so the juice framework is what people build VSTs and, and use, and mm-hmm. so so yeah, just uh, need all sorts of help. So don't think you're not qualified. Just just send us an email. Let's 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 see if there's a fit. Um, uh, but thanks for letting me plug that. Oh, oh no 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 doubt no doubt. I I have no issue with that. I mean th- this platform is kind of open, man. I I, I try to keep Yo, it as open okay. as humanly possible. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's very interesting. And one thing I did notice, uh, because I know people probably. We we get to people that complain. Like, oh, you have to log in and stuff like that. Well, it's it's data based, so it yeah. Is, so it, yeah. as many data points as it can get, the better it, the AI will improve. And see, this is a particular machine learning that you call neural networking, uh, and that's that's what. Yep. Uh, it's not the next step of uh, AI. We're still in general AI, which is the the basic of most basic. I mean, and, and just to give kind of like a, another. Uh, food for thought for people that are trying to wrap their heads around artificial intelligence and how long it's been around. I mean, if you play the video game, yes, that's called AI. That's that's the AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, NPC, not MPC. You know, I talk about MPCs <laughs> on here, but uh, NPC is a non-playable character. You know, an enemy or something like that. Someone that you share dialect with, and it, and if that does this, and that's kind of the uh, the thought process in between. You know, probability. And you know, mm-hmm. if you if if you uh, walk forward, if you press forward on your controller, and you're and there's an enemy or an M, uh, NPC right in front of you that's an enemy, uh, then it's going to have a set uh, basic uh, set of, of data points that it's going to either attack you, it's going <laughs> to shoot a fireball, mm-hmm. well, attack you, that shoot a fireball, right. uh, swing at you, jump at you, so forth, and it could be. Uh, determined through uh what they what do they call that uh rng you know they right. use like rng right. it could change up and honestly that's kind of uh, i don't know if you are into gaming or not berkeley uh have you tried the I game am. Uh, oh, okay am. okay uh, so you have you tried uh, gamer, elden, yeah elden ring elden ring yep love oh, that game i just got i just got into it. i've been watching it for a while and that's kind of the, uh, the reason why people are into that game because the rng is crazy on there and it's mm-hmm. like when you do a fight and you try to go into the fight thinking that you're going to uh, you'll know what will happen with that NPC. Right. And when you interact with it, it yeah. will do some. It, it will surprise have, you. Yeah, yeah. Slight variations. Yeah. And that's why it's so addictive, too. Yeah, no, for sure. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I want to take a quick step back. I'm just reading some of the comments mm-hmm. and, and I'm realizing that that um, 
I want to demystify AI a little bit okay. I, because I think there's um, a sense because of sci-fi and because what else would we think it is based? Cause that's how we talk about AI. Um, uh, basically here's how I think about it. Mm -hmm. Like uh, a lot of AI um, is trying to guess a correct answer about mm -hmm. something. Yeah, probably. Right. Yeah. So, so like for instance, a lot of AI is like, here's an example. Is there a cat in this image? Right. Like, mm -hmm. or, or, or like, is there a bicycle in this image? And uh, that's this sort of thing. Um, the way that the, that that AI works, it's basically like, you know, the game like hot, cold, like oh, you're warmer, you're colder, you're warmer, you know, and 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 you're trying to get warmer, 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 and then you find the you find the thing by getting warmer as you walk through the room, you know, mm -hmm. it's like this search thing to find the the right thing. So mm -hmm. so AI is like that, except it's trying to guess like a set of numbers that when you like multiply them it gets the right answer, mm -hmm. right? Where it'll be, if the right answer is 10 and it guessed 15, mm -hmm. the way that it learns is it's like, okay, bet when I get this type of input, next time I'm gonna guess a lower number because I guessed too high this mm -hmm. time, right? And then if I guessed too low, then next time I'm gonna guess a little higher. So it knows, it knows how to switch all these numbers and play like hot, cold, but with like a billion numbers. That's mm -hmm. why it's so powerful because it can play this game with like a billion numbers, but mm -hmm. there's no like magic to it. It's just that um, it, it's it's so good at playing this hot cold game that it learns the, the craziest patterns. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that stuff that we didn't think was just patterns kind of is like yeah. like a, a visual art. Yeah. Like we were really surprised that we thought we thought that like AI was going to take like, you know, kind of basic jobs. Um, it's gonna then it's gonna learn how to do spreadsheets. Then it's gonna learn this, and then eventually it'll do creativity. As mm. like when as AI gets insane, right? Mm. And and what we found is that it's the opposite. That yeah. that white that, collar like, jobs is in uh, is in trouble, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's another thing we should touch on. But but that's that that is that's what I wanted to to demystify. That it's just math all the way down, mm. um, and finding patterns, um, and 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 that's what gives it its power. Um, is that it's it's so uh, general and it's it can happen at such a big scale. Yeah. So um, so I want to kind of chime in because I'm I'm just looking at the chat right now. I'm not really trying to do Q and A, uh, but if y'all have questions or anything like that, oh, it's cool. Uh, but you know, uh, a detractor's in here and he we're we're he's trying to tell me what scalar is not uh, AI and it's like um what? Uh, so so how scalar's AI works is that they entered data points inside of the actual using C, uh, well, I, I, I didn't, I know they use a C++ framework. I, I'm not entitled to it, <laughs> divulge which one it is. But so basically they use the algorithm um, and the algorithm, because um, believe it or not, music is the science of what? <laughs> uh, I mean, waves. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, it's, it's the science, it's a science of patterns. It's a science of numbers. It's, it's, it's a numbers and it's science. It's mathematics too. Uh, because if you break down, mm -hmm. if you know uh, uh, the difference between a one, three, five, and so forth, both, like uh, co codes, that's one thing. Shout out to mm -hmm. Pigeon Word Beats, by the way. But, you know, if we're talking about actual codes and, and if you actually break down the fing your fingers, you already know that there are seven keys that are in a scale. Uh, you also right. know that it, within that particular scale, you have di uh, different you know, if you play four notes and you're playing that within the scale that you are getting a what you call a chord. So that's why they have uh, they have seconds, thirds, uh, fourths, fifths, sevenths, six, sevenths and so forth. So so that's actually mathematics. So when you're saying that uh, that scalar is just a pre like all it does is you just put in the scales. No, like it had to be trained on those scales. And this is why I say this, because one uh, one of the things is it learns. Uh, from, from all the predefined scales and chords in there, when you play something inside of it, it's able to dictate what the chord progression is. So that's where the artificial intelligence starts. And the other part of the artificial intelligence is the ability of it to detect the, the exact same set, that data set, inside of audio. So that's the part that y'all saw in that video. So yes, Scalar is uh, artificial intelligence based.
it was one of the yeah. first plugins to do that and, and do it at a actually it, i won't even say one of the first um it was one of many but it was one of the few that did it extremely well melodyne which i, I believe since the grammy uh, just passed right um it, it got a, a a technical grammy i think they got the fellas over there shout out to uh the, uh, the people over there at melodyne um but yeah that's also yeah. artificial intelligence based yeah no totally and time I, stretch I think is artificial people... intelligence based like the real yeah. time time stretch right that's data points yeah. starting yeah. points that's why you see numbers you just don't understand mm-hmm. it from your side because perhaps you don't have that experience with it that's that's why yeah. we're here to Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're, I think it's a good point. I, I, I think we would, if we, if we snapped our fingers and deleted everything that's AI or machine learning from the world, you'd be really surprised the stuff that would stop working. Um, probably like traffic systems would stop working. Like uh, certainly Netflix would stop showing you stuff you like, right? Mm-hmm. Amazon would stop showing you stuff you like. Like ne- you, you log into Facebook or LinkedIn, everything looks different. I mean, it powers a lot of stuff that you wouldn't even um, think is AI. I think that the 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 stuff that's that's making it um, into the news and why we're all here is that AI is starting to do stuff that we thought would take decades to 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 do, which is be creative, right? Mm-hmm. So I think there's a lot of fear. You know, among creatives right now on like AI is going to take our jobs, right? Like mm-hmm. AI is going to, AI is going to, to, to um, be able to, I mean, right now you can go to Dolly and say, um, you know, I want an art, a, a picture of uh, a, a picture in the style of an artist. Now that artist might be dead or that artist might be alive, but the, 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 the feeling is like, well, shit, like if it could just make art like me, Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, then, then, then what happens to me, you know? And, and, and so I think these are really important questions for society that aren't answered yet. Yeah. And, and, and so as a music community, I feel like we can look at the visual space and, and as kind of a warning shot uh, as both a really exciting look at what the future could be, but as a, as a warning shot mm-hmm. that there are potential rights issues coming there are potential uh, uh, opportunities for displacement coming and, and we all have to adapt. Mm. But I think beyond just adapt, we should try to influence the conversation. Yeah, yeah. Right? So one of the things that's happening at Audio Lab is that we, we're we like looking six months, you know, 12 months out into the future um, via, you know, insider information type you know, insider trading information that we have from the industry of, of AI music, and we see what's coming and, and we're excited, but we're also a little bit worried. And, and so what we're doing is we're, we're, we're setting up a, a group of producers. We want a giant, big ass group of producers um, to, to join together and, and take the opportunity to try to shape what's happening to the industry. Mm-hmm. Visual art didn't have this opportunity they they but they are our warning shot and so what we want to do is um unite right like and, and sounds corny what it is uh, even even with the digital art space uh one thing we can learn from that is not to push back so much at that it, I, I would compare what what's happened over there to like maybe what happened in the 80s with hip-hop basically you know, we had someone by the name of Roger Lynn that had a, had a fantastic idea that worked with a Japanese company uh, called uh, Akai, and he developed something that was supposed to replace the drummer. And it not only did, did it actually make a, for a good use case for, for a drummer when you want to practice guitar or something like that, end up being a musical tool, but there was a lot of pushback at that particular time from all of the people that played musical instruments purely. And, you know, it, it doesn't sound real, it doesn't sound that, and it doesn't sound this, and doesn't, and it birthed something else. And it probably right. birthed one of the biggest things that a lot of you guys should understand that, I, that we talk about on this channel, which is hip hop. And <laughs> so from that particular argument, I think it takes, it would make more sense to not argue and try to get pushback but to actually partake in it. So that way you're not left behind in the stone age yeah. 
and, and yeah. be uh, and be having these old people rants on on YouTube, <laughs> with, which is specific community. Get this AI off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're, no, they're dude, I think, at, I think uh, it's a really good point. Boy. I think it's a really good point. Um, mm -hmm. and and I think we should have optimism. I think it right. will birth new things and not just displace us. Um, but I think what we see from visual art is that some people did get kind of fucked, right? Like, mm -hmm. so, so we, people, people, like. People are like mid journey stability. They're getting sued by like some artists, and 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 like, and that's how you, know you got a good product like, too. Is when you, if if people ain't talking shit about you and suing you, then you yeah. goddamn don't have a right, good right, anything. right. And, and so, and, <laughs> you know and these I mean? are good. Like the researchers are good people, right? Yeah. Like some of them are my good homies. Like mm -hmm. they're they're really good people, and they mean well, and they're musicians themselves, right? Mm -hmm. They're not trying to screw anybody. Um, and 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 I don't think open. I don't think these people are trying to screw anybody. I think they're they're researchers that are excited about the future and trying to build it. And then we'll figure it out as we go. But but my only. Do you think that's going to hurt them though? Because because I mean, by the they're the fastest growing company <laughs> in history. So yeah, I'm pretty I, sure I think, they're going to be a trillion dollar company within the by the end of the year. What I'm yeah, over that. So as yeah, they go for sure, public. for sure. I think I think that. Um, when you change things dramatically which is, which is. in society, um, you probably are doing it faster than society can adapt. Oh right? yeah, and AI so, is way up there in our and right, our right, right. we're not and earning so, enough from yeah. from AI. It's just AI is just growing and we're all the way down here. You're <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah. And so I think I think it's just going to be a matter of of um, having a, a two way conversation. Mm -hmm. I think that that's the, the main thing that Audiolab wants to help create is just a two way conversation where everybody assumes that this is a good thing. We're, we're, we, we're positive. We're optimistic. Obviously, we're optimistic about AI and creativity. We run a music AI company. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're optimistic about it. But we do want to make sure that it's done responsibly, mm -hmm. like like that we're we're thinking about the rights of artists. Um, that you know there might be a no, there might be like a uh, you know some artists will some pockets of creativity will be displaced, and so if we're creating data for AI, well maybe there should be a new royalty, for instance, right? Maybe mm -hmm. there maybe instead of maybe sync royalties will get messed up. Um, and, uh, but maybe we introduce, um, some kind of training royalty, right? Like where you do opt in, you can train on my stuff. Just give me credit, give me some, some, some cash. Um, uh, but, but, and maybe those aren't the right ideas, but we do need a conversation and we have a chance as a music mm -hmm. community. And so, um, we're, we're starting that, that, that community now. Um, it's very early still, but the idea is to get a bunch of producers that are, that are interested in being a part of that conversation and organizing. Um, and perhaps um, having like a pledge that companies can take about how you're going to honor artists and and this sort of thing. Um, and and if you're interested in that, the conversation is still really early. But you can email us at unite at audiolab.com. Mm. This is not about like stop the machine from turning. That's not at all what we want. <laughs> That's not um, going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's just not going to happen. Not and so happen. <laughs> really, it's really it's more billions about of dollars just, into this, if not trillions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. And so it's it's not about stopping it. It's just about um like we should have some ideas that it should be a a, a conversation. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be an AI company telling us how you know music will be uh equitable for us in the future. It should be us being a part of that conversation. Mm -hmm. And and so uh if you're interested in 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 joining that and, and hearing more, um email us at unite at audiolab.com and we'll have more information over the next coming weeks. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think it's important that uh, we we just have that discussion, uh, in individually, uh, or or just just collectively. My bad, not right, individually. Right. That'll take forever. Collectively, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So the the difference is you, you can either use it now or just not use it at all. And I'm I'm sorry, but I use AI like damn near all the time. I've been doing that since 2015. And, and one of the right. other uh, ba based in when we was just talking about early AI, one of the early neural networking um, 
companies that was behind it and they got a lot of pushback in the industry and the stuff they still get a lot of pushback too and it's funny because it's like do, do we really have to argue if ai can uh master music like are, are we for real doing that and that is lander like lander is the uh the main company that got a lot of pushback earlier it's like oh it doesn't sound fluffy enough it doesn't do this it doesn't have that crispy and I'm just like thinking to myself, like you're fucking lying to your teeth if you think, like you know you're lying. Dude. Like, you like, know that sounds pretty good. Come on now, it, oh. it, amazing. And as the time goes past, it has like almost. I, I know it has like almost a hundred million data points now uh, of That's different crazy. kinds of music. That's great. Yeah, and, yeah. And I, and now when I go and I do that, and, and I've actually had you know professional mastering engineers like it's like, dude. I, why is it your music sounds very good? Like I was like, yeah, I know how to uh, mix my stuff down and all that stuff. You I know, mean, I'm old too, so. But uh, yeah, let me, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna share this with you. Uh, by the way, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Lander. Let me get over here. Uh, you know, I'm still over here struggling. Um, but yeah, so uh, it, it was so much pushback in that particular video uh, from people that just just very unaware and just and you know I, I try not to have uh like smoke for my audience but it's just like dude mm -hmm. if you if you don't know anything about it and then you should learn from it or or if you don't know yeah. you don't have to take my word for it uh if, yeah. if you think it's because uh yeah and and true enough they have sponsored my videos but you know how long i've been paying lander to get my music mastered but way before that it's yeah. like come on yeah. now like Yo, I have a question. I have a question. I'm, I'm curious what you think. Uh -oh. um, somebody somebody in your chat like asked a question and I have a, a twist on it. Mm. So um, at, the question that they asked was, you know, will a listener be able to tell like in the future, maybe like, like, was it AI or was it human? Oh, right. But, but like, here's, here's my question. Like, it's a kind of a riff on that. Like, if if you heard a song mm. and and it and it was like a bot. You're like, oh, I like this. This is this 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 is I like this. Mm -hmm. And then you found out that AI generated it mm -hmm. after you've been nodding your head to this, right? Like, and then it's like, yo, by the way, that was an AI that generated that. Mm -hmm. How would you feel? Would you be like, I've been bamboozled, or would you be like, um, damn, I guess I like AI music, or like, would would you feel bad, or would you feel like? It'd be like how I felt Scared? about mid how I feel about mid journey, which I used that to, to generate certain hmm. things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and since we're into that pocket, let's go ahead and listen to like some examples by what uh, Google is trying to do with Music LM. Like uh, they have a couple of things. Like they have uh, AI uh, generation. Oh, oh no, audio generation. My bad. Uh, from rich captions, and this is basically their you know, their prompt based system for music. And uh, some of the examples, I, I was like, hey, you know, yeah. but uh, some so I'm for, like, just hey. really quickly for the audience, like it's my bad, my th bad. this system, this system, Google trained a system mm. where you can write in English, just natural language, mm. the description of a song. And it reads that text, interprets it and then generates an actual song from the words right so that is want to explain what's happening here the yeah. caption isn't like something they wrote afterwards this is something like they started with the text they wrote those sentences then they hit generate and it generated the sound that you see on the right so what you're listening to was generated by ai based on the text yeah so so basically uh this first one i'm going to play it says the the main soundtrack of an arcade game is fast paced and upbeat with a catchy electric guitar riff so just complete sentences you know, nothing weird, you know, because I, I remember some of the prompt based stuff, you had to do some weird stuff. Uh, but mm -hmm. these are just regular, complete chat GPT. The better you write, the better it can answer. Uh, the music is repetitive and easy to remember, but with unexpected sounds like cymbals and crashes and, and drum rolls or drum rolls. I want to see if I can hear the drum. Okay. This is impressive for like a video game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, it sounds like it, like Sonic or something. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is fire. Throw that shit on the new uh, Sonic game. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't hear the crashes uh, in in it, uh, but let's see. I don't know. 
I guess that's the drum roll. It's kind of like an 8 bit crash. Yeah, like hitting on the uh, hitting on the on the snare, right? On the five seven. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the next piece that we we're looking at is a fusion of reggaeton, uh, electronic uh, dance music with spacey, otherworldly sounds, uh, induces the experience of being lost in space. And the music will be designed to invoke a simple, no, a sense of wonder and awe while being danceable. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Wrote a song about it. I want to hear it. Here it go. Like the audio quality, you know, since it's being compressed. Are you with a singer, bro? <laughs> that is impressive, dog. Yeah. If it was in high. I mean, you can, you can work with that a little bit. You can work Hell with yeah. that. Hell yeah. Dog, what? Uh, so they have some things, because I was like, man, what? Um, there were some things I was like, listen to uh, some of the prompts in terms of like simple stuff like jazz. Let me see. Oh, I thought that was you oh singing. God, was like, I thought, I thought that, was, that was them. That's like some <laughs> horror. horror. Yes. It just sounds like it's like a foreign language. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is nice. definitely. What's, can you go to rap song? There's a rap song at one minute. One minute to one minute and 15. All right, let's see. I need to hear this AI rap. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit here we go again all right here we go <laughs> let's see all right i'm almost there let's get it that's that's the end of the rock or the death metal nah. okay this has to mm. be in like a different mm -hmm. language of some mm -hmm. sort which mm -hmm. uh actually sounds like spanish uh yeah it sounds like yeah so, I thought it sounded like Korean or something. Or yeah, probably so. I don't know. I'm 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 a little uh, bewildered by the uh, audio quality. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. That's definitely yeah. not Spanish. <laughs> That's not Spanish. They gotta mix all. that kick differently. Is uh, that it always, yeah. Yeah. Um, the audio but, quality is know, questionable, but for the most part, like if it, if I wanted to like make a sample per se, or you a yeah. person wanted to make on said sample. Hmm. It becomes a little bit more useful, and I think that's why they should yeah, open that up. Yeah. Right. Bit. Right. And and you know, at, at Audio Lab, we look at stuff like this, and like, of course, someone's gonna make a thing where you go to a website, you type it, mm -hmm. and, and some some stuff like that exists. Um, we we are not focused on general audience, general population, you know, mm -hmm. tech demos and stuff. Like we're we're focused on. Like the the serious hobbyist or pro, um, you know, musician pr producer um, that takes it kind of seriously, and we want to build like the Apple products mm -hmm. for you know generative AI and music, and so and so we look at this and we think that's cool. That's a cool Lego piece. Where do we fit it into something broader that like is good for producers and useful? And, and so, so we're looking at stuff like this, and 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 we're like, someone says sounds cringe. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, and, and and we and we see the potential uh, for producers, but it wouldn't be just like a text box where you like type a song and you post it on SoundCloud, right? Like that's not the the, the future that we want to build. Yeah, you, and, and, you definitely yeah. don't want that. It's, it, that's that's the thing. And when when people are saying it, it sounds like about basura, and you know, it sounds like trash. Like, dude, <laughs> like. That's perfect for you because if it did sound as, just like you were saying, if it did sound one hundred percent, mind you, I can tell that there's Ellison because it's you know that's, those are compact files on that website. Yeah, this is, this yeah. Is a generic Google website well, that they always you know, do. If that's I feel like HQ, you would hear feel, this. Yeah, the, the same the same type of tech. I just want to say it again. Like I started with this, and I just want to say it again. Like like visual art is such a good like something to look at and, and learn from mm. because in tw 2014 the visual art was kind of like this type of music where it's like 
if you compare it to dope music, the music you love, mm -hmm. it kind of sounds like trash, right? Yeah. But then like two years later, it's like, oh shit, it's like photorealistic. Three, <laughs> three or four years later, it's like, this is a picture of a face that does not exist. And it looks like a photograph. Like it's gonna happen faster than we think where the next one of these websites that we look at in mm -hmm. like a year or two years, yeah. it's gonna be hits. Every, you're gonna type like a description uh, of of the same description and you're going to listen to those songs in two years and it's going to be very different it's going to be very impressive right yeah. and and so it, it, i, I don't even think to... it's that far behind there is ai generated music already on freaking spotify made by the people of spotify you listen to it on your lo-fi beats <laughs> playlist you don't know the difference mm -hmm. i kid you yeah. not I yeah kid yeah you not. that's that's fair i mean it, it, it just I guess the, the 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 not a warning, but just like a word to the wise, like take this stuff seriously and be because what you wish as for. jank as it sounds right now, <laughs> it will be fire in in like a few years, maybe even shorter. And and so and so you know I, I, we should be thinking as a as an industry, we should be thinking about like how do we adapt um similar to you know uh sampling entering mm -hmm. the music scene mm -hmm. um it'll 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 create some new stuff but it will affect us too and and so you know companies like 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 audio lab what we're doing is trying to like make it useful for producers and give like if ai it's almost like this is not a good metaphor because it's not a war mm -hmm. but this is like i guess it would be the controversial bit but like it's like it's almost like ai it keeps encroaching onto creative spaces and, and like they're taking mm -hmm. territory and like we're building like the AI swords to like fight back, you yeah. know, like on the human creative spirit. Yeah. We think that the human creative spirit is at like the center of all of it. Right. And so if I heard a song that I like and then I heard that AI made it, I would be like, that sounds kind of trash. Right? Like, right, that's right, like right. my personal thing. Mm -hmm. and, and unless unless like one of the developers came and told me, you know, I made this with AI to honor my like dead mother. And like, and I'm like, Oh, I love that song again. Cause like, it's a human thing to me, to me, it's, it's dope because it was a human making something for humans. And so that's something we believe at audio lab that, that the human is at the center of the creative, uh, the creative experience. And so, yeah. um, and yeah, that, that's just some philosophy I'm, for it. I'm just reading one of the comments by, uh, some, 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 uh, <laughs> I, and I think it's, uh, in good morning, uh, some, 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 uh, hit the keys. He's like, uh, AI could never replace, uh, personality and so forth. And I'm like, brother, it already controls what you watch. Uh, if you actually understand how predictive behavior works and how you talk about how people are like, Oh man, I was just talking on the phone and, and, uh, and what I was talking about on the phone actually popped up on my phone when I was sitting on social media. And that's actual how predictive behavior works. It yeah. sees yeah. and brings, and it's very good at its job, probability. Yeah. In that sense, the only, only, the only reason why, like something like ChatGPT, the reason why it hasn't launched as strongly as it has because of the resources that it, it, it doesn't have uh in in particular servers because you need a strong server base um to be able to run the, the ai for it to improve itself uh artificial intelligence needs that much uh not that much bandwidth the, to operate so that uh, in the near future or whatever you know with things like 5g i'm not trying to uh get too far into it and, and have everybody on some you know, no X file shit, but <laughs> you know, but in the near future, um, and that's, this is where the the changing of the guard have to uh, happen. The reason why we don't have anything that's strongly based on personality and all that stuff, uh, because you don't want something that's already intelligent to be doing what you want. You got to be careful what you wish for. Um, it needs bandwidth. That's how uh, AI would work. And with increased bandwidth in 5G and all that, and, you know, we already had the conspiracy out there. You know, we had a... Uh, we're my damn X-Files. Come on. <laughs> Mess with me. Shout out to CMP. <laughs> with that, that, there will be human distinction because we wouldn't be able to 
uh, we wouldn't be able to hold anything to that frequency. Uh, it's already hard, hard enough. We already got stuff that's giving us cancer now. So that's the only limitation, honestly. Uh, if you understand. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, like, I think, like, the, 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 the biggest, like, thing that, that not scares me, this is like me just like, I don't know, I'm on some, like some other shit, but uh, the, the, the thing that, that, Mm-hmm. worries me is that someone's going to figure out how to have the AI improve itself. Right? So if like the AI is like yeah. a, a, a D student and it it it, uh, it, it gets it becomes it, start, it, it improves itself into a C student well, the next time it goes to improve itself, now it's a C student, so it's better at improving itself, right? And then it improves itself to a B student. Well, now a B student's even better at improving itself. So it's like this circular, like this recursive self-improvement, it's yeah. called. And and uh, I think it gets really wacky really fast. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's the, like, if we're talking conspiracies, that's the, that's the, that's the, the point of, technological progress that we're going to reach where it'll mm-hmm. just be exponential after that um and and so that's exciting scary um yeah and and you know we get to be alive during it like like we were alive before like the internet right like we were yeah. like we were I, I remember getting aol discs in the mail right and like <laughs> and like, yeah, and yeah. like aol gold oh shit aol gold and <laughs> I then like stack up platinum came out next month like yo you, the AOL <laughs> platinum just came out i'm like hey, you got that aol <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got like, the aol this dog yeah i got all the aols right here <laughs> straight up crack uh yeah so uh and 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 so that was really transformative um and it, and it took a while um for for like an actual industry to pop up and 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 for it to become a big part of our life then mobile happened and secured it for everybody um i think ai will happen much faster yeah. ai is going to happen much faster if it took 15 or 20 years for 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 um internet 25 years like i think it'll be um much faster for for ai i think in like 5 years it'll yeah. just be Three, think, three to five years, it'll just be a part of everything that we do. I think everybody's what they, what they really want is Cyberpunk 2077 before it's 2077. Like they, they want us to be walking around with these arms and have eyeballs that can see through walls. And, yeah, yeah, and like, like yeah. And and you don't like, want that. Me, you don't yeah. want that. You Tell don't me when that. I can like like jack in and like learn <laughs> kung fu and stuff like that's what i love like, just let me do the matrix stuff yeah that, um, and, and it's like come on man be careful what you wish for because it, it's all jokes and stuff like that until it happens and yeah, yeah think about well, let's go all the way back to when the airplane was invented or or just the wheel in general like i'm looking at ai as the new wheel if you feel me mm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you know, before, before that, you know, we, there's so much that the will ha- has accomplished, you know, and you just, and you know, the, the, uh, phrase is, you, uh, you know, you can't reinvent the wheel, you know what I'm saying? And people don't get what, what, what that means. It's like, dude, the wheel mm-hmm. was a, was probably one of the greatest inventions of all time. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And artificial intelligence is pretty much on that and beyond. And probably, you know, it, it's, it's detrimental how we handle that. You know, right, yeah. you, you just don't want you just don't want certain things to do everything or or it can't or, or just to use the word can't because people in this industry, <laughs> they're they're not thinking can't right. <laughs> they're thinking right. uh, they're thinking, uh, well, how far can we go <laughs> right. No, totally. <laughs> you know, right now? I mean, chat GPT <laughs> launched a few months ago now, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, already, I mean, yesterday. Microsoft announced uh, the new Bing, Bing.com, that other search engine, yeah. now is going to be like the search engine because it has ChatGPT now built in, right? And so you can just go to Bing and now you can type like a regular person finally, like the way your grandma used to type in Google, like I'm trying to make a recipe and like and you're like, mom, don't, like don't type all that stuff, just say recipe. No, now she can, now, now she can actually type in just I'm trying to make a recipe and it's going to be this many people. Right. Um, that's it's already integrated into Bing. Microsoft's going to integrate it into 
um, the Edge browser. Um, it's going to integrate it into all of the Microsoft Office uh, uh, products, right? So, like, mm. you remember Clippy? It's like, looks like you're trying to mm. write a letter, right? And, mm. and it's going to be ingrained into everything, right? So, I, I think uh, we can't underestimate, like, there, like you're, like you said, there is no can't. It's just going to just be what's the next thing we can do? What's the next crazy thing we can do? Mm. Make it better and better. And and this is just, this is just the world we live in. I think it is like the wheel, like fire, like everything is different mm. now. And and so similar to the old heads that lived through the invention of the internet and the in integration into society, mm. we get to watch another revolution than that scale of like AI integrating into society. Um, and so I wonder, I wonder, um, I don't know if you want to do like Q and A or whatever, but but like I wonder what people are like thinking about right now, like like if it's like more fear, if it's more excitement, you know, like what people are hoping happens, what they want us to build. So what um, I what I'll do is I will make a poll. I'm gonna make a poll or start a Q and A. Let's do that. Um, well, actually, you know, I ain't gonna even mess with that because that's the first time I've ever seen that. But that's actually cool. Uh, I seen that IG does it too now. Like that, you can ask questions and stuff like that. That's really oh, dope. That's that's why I will be on that platform a little bit more than I used to. Um. So I what what the question will be? Uh, I will just I, I will ask you guys. Uh, will do you think AI will take over? And I want to use a, a speech to text so bad because I'm so used to that <laughs> and writing scripts <laughs> and stuff like that. That's artificial intelligence too. Uh, uh, shout out to Kai Fu Lee because he actually invented that. He used uh, that was. Before it was Siri, it was called uh, Casper. Um, for those interesting, who don't know. Uh, interesting. So, uh, do you think, um, and it's going to be very interesting, that AI or artificial? I'm just going to type in artificial intelligence. Hopefully, I won't misspell it. <laughs> uh, be unintelligent <laughs> and misspell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll take over music production or music i'm gonna say music that, i think that's the best one uh and i'll put yes or no and uh i'm gonna allow y'all to do that we'll, we'll play the jeopardy music and i'll uh leave those poll i'll leave that poll up for right now so all right here we go let's go ahead and hit y'all with the jeopardy now <laughs> do you think do you think <laughs> do you think that artificial intelligence will take over music? <laughs> we already got a nice hot start. We got 50%, 57% says no now. 55 says no. 58% says no. 60% says no. 59%, 61 And we are done. So I'm going to go ahead and close this poll here. Um, so <clears throat> the, the results of that poll are, are as followed. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for it to pop up, you know, how you to be. Uh, but they said, uh, again, the question was, uh, do you think the artificial intelligence will take over music? And 58% uh, said no, and 41% says yes. So that's actually pretty close. It was only 36 votes. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I would say that it's 50 even though it doesn't say 50 50 it's just like the, uh, the majority doesn't know like they're playing it safe i i will uh, it. put it that way uh questions questions for the cheesy um if y'all have any questions uh, make sure you, you guys ask right now just ask uh, berkeley and we'll go ahead and uh, get with the proceedings of the evening he said um uh, so, so if y'all have any questions, sure, let's get it. We'll, we'll get some music up there, huh? Someone said uh, it's not a matter of a if AI will take over; it's just a matter of when. Yeah, and it's um, already has. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Like any of your favorite DAWs that you use, if you use Ableton Live, they have mm -hmm. uh, uh, audio timidity. That's artificial intelligence. Yeah, spectral analysis. Uh, yeah, Fruity Loops yeah. has a garbage version of it with uh there within edison you pull it up and it'll, it can translate me uh, melodies but that then again yeah like yeah years. yeah i think i think um i think the spirit of the question is like on the creative side like will it is there gonna be like an ai artist like that can generate stuff that's cool and creative i mean i think 
just look at visual art, mm -hmm. right? Like just go go over to Dolly, go over to Mid Journey, and and type something and just see the quality that it comes up with. Um, I, I think I think that it's always gonna be. I, I think that the dopest stuff will have a human in the loop mm. that designs like the best prompt mm. to make the thing do the right. So there's it's gonna be a skill to be really good with these systems. Mm. And so I think a human in the loop is gonna be the future. I don't think an AI was just like randomly come up with a dope prompt that moves us all and makes us all like weep from the imagery. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm, I'm, I'm likely wrong. Uh, so, so we'll see. Dilio made a good point in in the chat. Uh, shout out to Dilio, man. That's my brother right there, brother from another. Uh, and he was talking about artificial. I mean, damn. He was talking about Auto Tune being artificial intelligence. It's, it indeed is. It's a simple general AI that knows how to correct your pitch, but you partake with it, you know, uh, by setting it up. You give you get a, a set of data points, you know, which is the scale, and it will continue to lock that particular pitch of yours because it's pitch correction uh into a certain scale so yeah yeah absolutely it is artificial intelligence it's funny yeah, too did yeah. you see the rick biato video i was like does he know that auto tune is artificial intelligence because he, he it was all over the place but you know he just did it for views i didn't i didn't i haven't seen it yet but toby made a toby made a really good point mm -hmm. he's saying that he's not even sure that it'll be a human in the loop it'll be more like tiktok like learning your preferences yeah. and then like evolving it I think that's a really good point. And you're right. I think you're right. So, so yeah, that's that's um, predictive behavior too. That's that's how yeah, our, yeah. Our, our algorithm works, and that's what artificial algorithm. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, and so you know, it's I think the philosophically you could argue that that is you controlling the AI because it's learning you, but um, and, and so it's not having like an inspiration itself. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the equivalent. Like as long as you're like just vibing out to music that's like you like. And you keep liking it and it's a new song and like it's one's rap one's reggaeton one's r b and then like you're just like i like this music i don't know who the artists are i mean shit, i listen to like discover weekly and i don't be knowing those artists you know mm. and, and 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 like i vibe and and so i'll add them <laughs> to my playlist and if like all of a sudden there's a Vibe an artist AI, name no, that i don't no recognize <laughs> and and i add it to a playlist and it turns out that was ai like you know who gets hurt i guess i don't know um uh, it, it's it's intriguing. I think Toby's right. Yeah, I, I, and I mean, it's so much incentive for for them to do that, anyways. Uh, what I I guess I got off track with that when I was talking about Spotify. But the the main incentive for them to invent an artificial test to keep money mm -hmm. because because at the end of the day, believe it or not, with, without being hard, without the effects of a commercial hip hop or commercial music being pushed amongst the masses anyways. Like we don't, like this generation, Gen, Gen Z doesn't uh, indulge in music the same way that uh, my generation or our, our generation indulges in, in music. Mm. We, we went to the mm. record store, we saw a music video, uh, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, TV was mm -hmm. a thing. As a matter of fact, right. uh, you know, this is how much of a boomer, uh, 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 Gen, uh, Gen X boomer or Gen Z boomer, I think. Millennial. I am. I mean, I remember when. Damn, I forgot my point. But I remember the way that we talked about adult. indulging in how we indulge in music yeah, yeah. more back then and in, in songs and like more than this generation. I think I think you're right. Like it was much more about the song and like the tactile. Mm -hmm. We were ripping the, the shrink wrap off the CD and like mm -hmm. the tangible get, get out and like and and like it made you like worship the song more. And I feel like that still happens, but I feel like this generation is able to, and I've basically, you know, morphed into the current vibe, but like, we like, we, we, we like more indulge in the vibe mm -hmm. more. Like, and, and we, we like, we indulge in like, we, we curate vibes and like listen to, at least that's how I listen to music. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and, and they get to indulge in like discovery. You know, like it's yeah. just so little barrier to entry, like so little friction to discovering new music and, yeah. and stuff. And yeah, um, it's, it's more so AI. It's, it's actually AI based as well. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. If, right. If the video's right. doing well, people's watching it, then, then YouTube will serve it or whatever platform that you're on will serve it more because it's keeping you on the platform more. That's how YouTube and, and TikTok work. Like, they're not going to serve you anything that's going to make you go, ah, oh. that's why. And, and TikTok does it extremely well. So yep. because it's yep. in short doses 
and, yeah. and your attention span is shortening because you're taking something in this much and it because people want to save time they think they're saving time and you're actually losing more time but yeah mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah so I, I saw a question about um emergent drums and like uh if you generate samples oh yeah big room what house the, yes that's what that's what one person was asking about yeah so if you generate samples with emergent drums you own them and uh some people for instance generate samples out of emergent drums and sell the sample packs that they make right you know maybe they maybe they do a little post processing and whatever or maybe not but they they just put them in some some sample packs and sell them mm. um so our thing about the future is that like <clears throat> This, like a sense of scarcity should should disappear from creative the creative process like you should feel like you have infinite options you should feel like you have infinite like there's no barriers and and, and, and so you're not just restricted to the gigabytes that you have on your hard drive mm -hmm. or like whatever splice is showing you so you, you oh, should be able to like have like infinite <laughs> sound. was that smoke sir oh shit. <laughs> no no we love, we love spice we love spice uh they're, they're the homies uh, no the, the idea is that like as you're using it uh, one sense of scarcity that you have is like rights like do i have a right to like can i put this in or, or how do i you know like a tribute and so mm. <laughs> some controversy doc oh man. Uh, I, haven't, so, I haven't seen uh, it i haven't seen it yet there it goes it updated it's yeah cool. all right so um yeah but when you when you use emergent drums you have all the rights to all the sounds that you make you can change them sell them we don't we don't care yeah i and now i see <laughs> again <laughs> That's what I think about. It's like, man, you know, I'm like, damn, 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 damn. damn, damn. If this music gonna let shit gonna take off, take <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take. <laughs> damn, damn, this damn, music damn, AI stuff. AI I mean, this music I mean, LF stuff take off. Man, what what, what are we gonna do <laughs> about these damn sample packs, man? Because you know what I'm saying. That's it. I was listening to it and it's kind of fire. This enemy is just thinking about that shit. That's what I was thinking. Like I don't know what you was thinking. I was like, I can chop that up. Yeah. Yeah. Stream exactly. No shit, Toby. It's called a delay. God damn. I'm sorry. It happens every stream. Like I look at the. <laughs> I look at the uh, the chat and someone just like says something is like, bruh, that's, that was the whole point. <laughs> it's called a fix. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, an important, like, quick addition to that thing about selling them and all that, I think <laughs> good, we'll have you. to rethink rights. Like, we'll have to think mm -hmm. about rights again. Um, uh, what, it, what it means to have ownership mm -hmm. and rights. Like, if somebody uses a prompt to create something, mm -hmm. do they own it like like and and i i think they do um but that's the only way it could be back? profitable right and, and and so how is there a new type of royalty that needs to get invented mm -hmm. um and and it'll be interesting i mean it's going to be messy for for i think a few years um it's kind of like you know anything new disruptive like crypto crypto you know they're still trying to figure out how to how to <laughs> that. And, and 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 all that so so i think i think this is going to be another thing like that what do you think um, about cryptocurrency in this current state right now dude? like like let's just um, discover so, real quick we just get on that real quick yeah yeah i i think um i think there's stuff that's going to be valuable about crypto for a long time but i think it's like <laughs> i think right, <laughs> i think Sorry. i think Man, I feel bad for everybody that got screwed over. Um, I Bound wasn't a part happen. of all of that, um, but like some people really got Swapped. screwed um, big time. And 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 I I like sold everything a long time ago, and and so mm. I didn't get affected. But like I feel like there's this first generation that like is like the hype cycle, right? Like the, the like the first generation is excited about it so much that they integrate it to everything. Everybody overbuys and all that, and like. Yeah, the influencer be, bubble really did burst when when the cryptocurrency was being pushed by almost every single person as a quick way to make money. And, bro, yeah. And it's, I heard it's somebody say thing. like, if your Uber driver is telling you to buy crypto, like, <laughs> like it might be time to get out. Um, and, and so, 
and and I thought, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. But like the the, I think that like, just like the internet, like there was a giant crash in the '90s, right? And and and, and like a lot of people got fucked on the internet, like uh, like like crash. Um, and so Good point, I think, though. yeah, but but I think what's going to happen is the same thing that happened in the internet. The hype's going to die down, and the durable, dope things, you know, exchange of value and purchasing and like and like NFT type purchases the, the cool stuff is going to keep surviving mm. um and, and so i don't think it's dead by any means i think it's i think I, i'm still long on crypto like i think it's mm-hmm. going to be a big part of us so <clears throat> i say this and then this is kind of um what we was kind of personally talking about because you know i was talking telling you about barnes and nobles and i was like dude i was up there at barnes and nobles like trying to give me a machine learning book and like every book was gone like no all of a sudden people's like really excited about it yeah and, yeah and the one of the books it was hilarious so i was like why is this book not sold and that's what how i learned like whoa so wait a minute uh we're, we're building apis and stuff like that but it's all freaking frameworks like so and and they had the like and this is a it was an education book they already stepped in. these guys i don't know no no no. they're right back there i ain't, I ain't getting up for that but they, they write incredible books. They don't get the uh, the amount of credit uh, due, but they probably yep. write the best books on coding. Period. Oh, you got to plug it. You got to plug it when you find it. Uh, that's that's the stuff. It's a kid's book. And it's, template, I love it. it's a <clears throat> template based. And you can, and they have, I looked it up. I was like, dude, this shit is on the iOS store. <laughs> yeah with little to awesome. no downloads like but it's, it's, it's really exciting time. man it's really exciting it's really there's so much and you can build what, the ai just drag it it's for kids that's crazy <laughs> and the book that's is crazy. still there <laughs> yeah I, I i'm a huge fan of online learning um like, like online classes that's i basically taught myself ai um from books barnes and nobles walking the aisles looking for ml books and, mm-hmm. and also like uh, iTunes University was the old jam. Um, Coursera mm-hmm. is huge. If you're a developer and you don't know anything about AI, but you want to learn AI, um, there's fast.ai um, by Jeremy Howard. Um, mm-hmm. And, and uh, it's a really, really good course. Uh, I mean, you'll go from zero to like knowing AI at like a world class level mm-hmm. in a few weeks, in a few months. So fast.ai is major, major key. Um, and, and, and just like type into Google, type into chat GPT, you know, build me a custom curriculum to learn, you know, whatever you want to learn mm-hmm. with links to the courses, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like this is the world we live in, have, have chat GPT design a curriculum for yeah. you and go learn whatever you want. And, and the funny thing about it, I saw in, and, and they're not the first person to mention like, oh, chat GPT is better than courses. Mm, yes in certain instances but no if the course actually sticks because one thing you got to understand is regardless of chat gpt being a a phenomenal tool it's a phenomenal tool for people a certain kind of person if you're not in it you still gotta read uh (laughs) one right (laughs) and and I'm, i'm not that's not a shot i'm not trying to be condescending about that you still gotta read though two visual learners there's a reason why there is visual learners and certain things are visual based period and if you intake that with the personality with someone's personality that's the only thing that uh why why courses aren't extinct in that sense Mm -hmm. yeah like but but as far as if you're really indulging yeah absolutely chat gpt will get Mm -hmm. that done absolutely yeah 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 (laughs) It's 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 exciting, man. It's it's really exciting. I'm I'm glad that we get to be a part of it. Um, both as like consumers that we get to like be alive during this time and see how everything changes and mm-hmm. all this all these cool tools coming and and as a company, Audio Lab being able to be at the forefront of of like making this stuff usable and helping shape it. Um, again, like if you're interested in in, in helping shape that stuff, like email us at unite at audiolab.com we're gonna organize and try to try to help artists and 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 shape the future but just like what an exciting time to be alive dude it's like really like a renaissance again um and we get to be alive for it fucking cool yeah yeah, yeah. i I would i would definitely look at the positive aspects i get it you know uh, the title is the title and it's the 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 title for the the reason that it will get engagement Um, and you know we're staying on on task with 
talking about it, you know, because, you know, it, it, it's, yeah, absolutely like anything when it's brand new, you know, there's definitely got to be regulations. Um, and I, I know we keep on going on and off about this and, and we was talking about, you know, royalties and stuff like that. Uh, I definitely see it, like funny things that, that people were saying in the chat so far because it's been hilarious. I love you guys, by the way. Thank you so much for tuning in. <clears throat> the, the main one was like, uh, could you imagine like doing a prompt based music and then put it on YouTube and then the YouTube algorithm gives you a copyright <laughs> claim? <laughs> like, I thought that was hot. But that, <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> I mean, we have detectors. We have detectors now for uh, opening oh, release a detector to see if anything was written by ChatGPT. Um, yeah. because like, I guess everybody in, in college right now Absolutely. is trying to use ChatGPT for essays and stuff. Bruh, and so what? they released a, like a detector that will tell you if something was written by ChatGPT or tries to guess, you know? So I can imagine a, a generative, um, music detector as part of a content ID type system where it's like, that would be so this was generated by a. That would be or so likely stupid. <laughs> like, <That's> funny. <laughs> Put your shit on there, YouTube. Worse. Worse than a ghostwriter, like it'd be like, imagine you have like, <laughs> you expose an artist. It was like you use, you oh. use the like song GPT. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man, don't give the motherfuckers no idea. Controversial man. then. And they actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they do have their uh, music. It's called uh, Jukebox. Jukebox is their their yep. uh, they're owned by OpenAI. Uh, they they actually d uh, developed that already, and you know that Google. And it's so funny to see Google like this. Like, dude, y'all have been put on freaking notice. Like, y'all had a search engine that was better than Yahoo. And, and this is crazy that we got to see Yahoo being the number one big deal. And then Google ended up taking over. And now ChatGPT is putting freaking Alphabet, a billion dollar, close to trillion dollar company that's mainly, I, I think, what do they operate on? on a, um, a profit margin of forty percent or something like that, eighty percent maybe. I think it's some. Oh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure, but it has to be big. I mean, most of it is software. It's ad on on the high margin search business. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it has to be. It has to be crazy. Oh lord, like they got to be like, why do we? Why? Why do we not like change shit? It's like, yeah, you, you went on the, off the. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it thing, and now you found out it's broken. And someone else yeah. fixed it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. They looked at all those ads that you have when you type in uh, in the search engine, and mm -hmm. and people that have like un uh, uncredible stuff on information, and then they solved it. Yeah, <laughs> they right. solved right. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's it seems like my, my buddy has a good read on this. Um, shout out David. Um, he he has uh, his read is that. Um, Google has shit that's better, but they're just, and they've been had it, mm -hmm. but they, they didn't release it because, well, they said it's because of reputational risk. Well, the dude, that, that, I remember dude coming out and was like, oh, oh, the AI that they're putting out. Remember the, the headlines is Satan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Satan. Sentient, sentient. Sentient. Yeah. And, and I was like, yeah. Uh, you talking about like it's gonna be like Chat GPT, or like, or is this dude just yeah. like a like a dickhead product manager that's not getting his his free lunch in three hundred thousand right. dollars? Yeah. He's getting fired a year to be lazy, a lazy fucking <laughs> make TikTok videos. Yeah. and yeah. you want to be an ass on the way out the door. And that, I yeah, think that yeah. was probably the more likely the case. And and so my my buddy's read was that there that they had it, but the reason they didn't release it is because two things: reputational risk. It's going to say some racist shit. It's going to say, you know, some stuff that's wrong. Mm. And they don't want that because that's their brand and all that. And the other thing is <clears throat> a good system like that solves search. You no longer need search, right? Like search yeah. is not useful if this thing gets as good as it can get. Mm. And, and so they're like, why are we going to build? Why are we going to release this thing that one of all, first of all, like eats our lunch <clears throat> on search and two, could screw us on reputation, right? And it took OpenAI, somebody external, to take like Google invented the transformer, the the the, the underlying mm, algorithm that, that drives the whole thing, and and so they released transformer, the paper and and, and implementations come up. OpenAI uses their transformer tech to build GPT, ChatGPT, and they release it because they're like, well, we don't have 
this reputational risk or whatever. And, and, and so you end up getting um, disrupted with your, with your own tech. Toby, uh, we already established like, like at the very beginning of the show. You, I missed you, it. You didn't, you didn't contribute by you saying that the technology <laughs> that OpenAI built is created by Google. You didn't contribute. Sorry. <laughs> uh. I, I, I missed the comment, but, but yeah, I mean, in, in general, um, Google, yeah, is, is, it's now potentially getting disrupted. Um, it didn't want to release the stuff, but now it has to have a response because investors are shitting their pants about, you know, wait, what's our, what's Google's response to, mm -hmm. to this thing that's going to eat our lunch. And it turns out they have the technology. They announced it yesterday that they have, uh, I believe it was yesterday that they have, um, Bard, B-A-R-D is mm -hmm. there, it's going to be their chat interface. I'm not sure if it's released yet. It's like private beta testing type of thing, mm. but they, they do have it. They, they're going to release it and it's going to be insane. And we're just going to have <clears throat> competition on this, on this assistant thing. Um, but, but it's interesting to like, for any entrepreneurs that are listening, um, it's interesting. Uh, and we should think about our own businesses about, uh, you know, how they were avoiding disrupting themselves um and that's good but then someone else is going to do it and then you have to respond anyway mm -hmm. now, you, now you have to release something anyway and, and, and think about how to do you risk it and all that anyway so so should they have just done it you know mm -hmm. and, and so so something to think about yeah i mean the the levels of the uh of the phenomenon is is just the fact that again like a few days ago just me discovering like dude framework what what and again, this is why I'm keep on hammering that in everybody's <laughs> head is like, dude, if it's a framework, <clears throat> just, to, just to give God, every, everybody an idea. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, SendSpace. Doc, uh, no, no, not SendSpace. Uh, Squarespace. That's a framework. Uh, it's just a JavaScript version of a framework uh, of, of JavaScript. So you get access to all the things you need and you have all the access to the, like HTML. Uh, and and other aspects of the of things that you would probably need, and they do the uh, framework, so they don't have to do all right. of remembering every single piece of a code and so forth. Yes, it's lazy, absolutely, but it makes the job easier. And when, once a framework becomes available, which a lot of frameworks are out there, you know, um, just to give an example to you guys, you know, Juice is a framework. Um, and you know, you, you can, you get different parts of the, of templates and stuff like that. You got to build it, but you got to have some concept of, of C plus plus and, and knowledge and stuff like that. Um, there, there is heist, uh, as well, you know, for, for the people that's still here, you know, I, I'll give you that little nugget. Um, and you, that's a framework. That's a framework of, of C plus plus. Um, a lot of the things like Unreal Engine, and, and that's where you hear the word engine and stuff like that. Like those engines exist, and then they'll build yeah. like a framework, you know, with uh, different assets. <clears throat> but that's the word I should have used. Yeah, but, yeah. Know. I mean, like before, before we had social networks. Mm. I mean, like to make a website, you needed to know HTML. You needed to have mm. a server, or maybe you'd use like Angel Fire or GeoCities or something. But yeah. like we take for granted now. Geo sites. Oh Lord, he's yeah, old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm old. I, that's old. So, so, but we take for granted now that to make a website for ourselves where we can show our pictures, we just like make an Instagram account. Yeah. Right. But, but it used to be that you needed to know how to code that shit. Mm -hmm. Right. And 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 well, the reason that's gym. relevant is you that. Get gym. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the, a a the gold reason, gym. <laughs> and the reason I make that point is that the same thing is going to happen to AI. <clears throat> uh, I think in a few years, we're going to take for granted that when you, if you wanted AI, you used to have to, you know, go to chat GPT and you used to have to train a model and you had to all this stuff. I think it, it's going to be frameworks. It's going to be a square space for AI, mm -hmm. right? It's going to be a, a place where any everyday person can just go and have an AI that does something dope for you. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and it's going to, you're just going to take it for granted. Um, and we see that starting with ChatGPT, so really, really exciting. Yeah, and basically that 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 is like the uh, the it's the framework of the frameworks right now. 
uh, I'm not gonna go and I'm not gonna get people that that's watching this. There's a lot of people that was watching. I just looked and I was like, hold up, <laughs> this is Wednesday morning. It's like Wednesday morning calling to Wednesday afternoon. Hold on now, I'm not gonna. <laughs> you know, this is a very intellectual conversation we're having. <laughs> yeah, this is fun, man. This is fun. Uh, thanks for thanks for like inviting me and and like oh, taking. I think I think it's useful for you to to like be the one talking about this because you 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 have a very like no nonsense like no bullshit way of talking about it and 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 you have an optimism about it that i think Appreciate people it. should have like it's going to be there's an opportunity here to like be early mm-hmm. on the next generation and and like find a pocket for yourself uh on the next wave you know like you might have missed crypto you might have missed social you might have missed mobile you might have missed other other movements but you're early on ai you're in an industry that's going to have a lot of cool change and you have a chance to adapt so i think we should be as optimistic as you so so thanks for for taking the charge on that conversation oh, well my pleasure i guess like one one la- last question a silly question but also very important i guess we could have we could have hit this on the head when we was talking about uh, ai could never have a personality uh the movie uh hurt oh no megan the movie megan what have you seen that I haven't. I've seen little clips of it. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. I, I, w- I would compare it to something like a child's play. Um, but, you know, with, with Hollywood, you know how Hollywood does things. Then Things just be playing out, and it comes from a, a basic idea. This, uh, and um, <clears throat> Delio was talking about the movie Her. There's another movie, too, that I, uh, that, what was I watched it the other day, but I'd seen it way back when it came out. Uh, when when he was uh, convinced by the artificial intelligence, uh, the android, that you know he, she was in trouble and in fear, and she needed to go, and and the guy ended up falling in love with her, and, and all that other stuff, yeah. man, is crazy. I love that movie. I love that movie. Yeah, what's the title of that joke, <laughs> man? Is isn't it the, the the her the guy that has the AI? And uh-huh. Then, uh-huh. Was that uh-huh. not her? I think it might be her. No, no, her is uh that's that's Scarlett Johansson's uh used to be fine as hell ass um I, it, are you really yeah, okay yeah, yeah. Where, where is the os that basically was learning yeah the os and, yeah i thought you were talking about the os movie but um but um yeah i'm not sure but but man i love that os movie i mm-hmm. love it and and like i already i mentioned it before i already programmed i have a i have a long discussion with with open ai where i convinced it that it's my therapist right <laughs> that's what and it's so, called uh it's called uh ex machina yes yes or ex, or ex machina yeah, yeah. great and, and yeah that that's a really good one that's a really good one um i love that's another really good one i love all these movies do y'all guys um, want that do y'all really want that <laughs> y'all just want to hit something better <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> i have no consequences <laughs> <laughs> oh, she ain't gonna argue with me because that's not that's the algorithm. Be, <laughs> dude, I have imagine imagine an AI dating oh, app. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. Oh man. Uh, imagine an AI dating app where you're like you're swiping on like AI profiles and you're like chatting with Oh like, Lord no. I, I thought at first I thought you were talking about like Tinder like improving uh or actually adding an algorithm to where you know it, it will better match people. That would be more healthy. And I don't yeah. think the ladies would like it because it's 75, 25, like, you know, 75% men on there, 25% women. And then a lot of the women think that they, you know, are better than they are. That's actually dating apps altogether. That, and, you know, the, yeah. The, uh, <clears throat> yeah, the vast majority of men that, that don't really want to step out there and say, hey, you look good. Come here. I don't have that sound effect, but, uh, you know. <laughs> But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's that kind of lumps, but yeah, that would be that would be strange. I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love this. People are saying that they're polite to their Alexa just in case. Just, just say oh. please and thank you. <laughs> for, for, for just in case. Reason? Like, yo, Alexa, remember, I was I was chill. I was chill. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. At first, I thought it was getting a little dark. I thought it was getting a little dark. Like, y'all, like, you're a polite to your Alexa. Like, bro, what you doing with your dang <laughs> speaker dog? Like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> hey, change. where's the echo? It was in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, There's another movie, too. Uh, and it actually gives you a little bit of a background of 
you know the well it is less frame is is less about the framework and more so about how they improve the model uh and that's kimmy what what old girls uh lenny kravitz fine ass daughter um so, uh, I look that one up yeah you're gonna look it up all right <laughs> it's called kimmy, kimmy though yeah it's called kimmy and it's basically like uh their version of alexa's uh and she works as a software engineer and improvement and, and defining words because Kimmy misses up words and and it just gives oh, you a good background yeah. of it. You know, you just get get a little bit of eye candy. You know, get to see old girl. Uh, <laughs> I will keep this as Kimmy K I M I. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Oh my bad, Got my it. bad. I said spelt it for you. No, I found it. I found it. My bad. But yeah, okay, it's, cool. it's on HBO uh, Max. It's on HBO All right. Max. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, I tuned into that. Uh, like I was like, yeah, let's watch Kimmy. It's like, why you want to watch Kimmy? It's it's a movie about artificial intelligence. Oh, okay, okay. And I'm sitting there like, it's like, <laughs> like man, you you want to watch you want to watch everything with uh, Idris Elba in it? God damn it! Like, come on, man. Like like a, like a, like a brother don't know what that's about. <laughs> you feel me? But uh, yeah, that's it's a good movie. Holy crap! It's a good hey. movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That Batman movie wasn't, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> but good for her though. She's <laughs> acting more. That fake. Alexis. I like this. Uh, new new Mateo said ChatGPT is just roided out Clippy after all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I, I keep when, when y'all keep on mentioning Clippy. I keep on thinking about uh, Microsoft back in the day. Remember when you uh, Microsoft Word had the the, the mascot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was Clippy. He's yeah, like, hey, looks like you're trying to write a letter or whatever. And now it's like, <sighs> the Clippy write the letter for me, though. Like, the <sighs> whole thing. So, I used to remember I mean, seeing that junk, and I was like, why is this dude z- zooming out in 10 frames per second? Like, <laughs> like, <damn. laughs> but, uh, but man, I, I greatly appreciate this conversation, man. We, <clears throat> they get, we got a yeah. good hour and, and <clears throat> about 30 minutes of uh, of very deep thought <laughs> conversation yeah. before we get into the uh to the to the, the effery yeah man that was fun that was fun man i'm really glad like, again like thank you for like uh taking the time to expose your like you have such a big audience and mm-hmm. and such a real chance to set the tone for the future here i think you're optimistic we should all be optimistic um <clears throat> but we also have to think about it and be intentional about how we <clears throat> how we bring in this future so uh yeah thank you for the conversation and i hope we um keep jamming you know um behind the scenes on what we can do to, to, to try to shape this so thanks yeah. a lot yeah I, I think in closing is just that you know uh artificial detail intelligence has been here for a while it, it shouldn't be a hot topic amongst us in the music production community especially with companies like lander starting off with neural networking holy crap so that was Dude, I can't even remember uh, their their whole entire history, but uh, and and artificial intelligence is it? What the heck? I don't know what that sound is. Oh, okay. So artificial intelligence is it just uh, one uh, set of, of the way you think it's supposed to be? It is very simple right now because we're in general AI. Uh, we we are not in superior AI right now because of resources and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't, well, wherever the heck that sound is. Maybe I, maybe I have my, um, my DAW open or something like that, but, uh, yeah. Um, and we have a lot and there's a lot to learn from it. There's dope tools out there. Um, one of the ones is in the description box right now, and that is Emerging Drums, uh, by, by Audio Labs. And then, you know, we, we talked about multi, a multitude of others. So just take advantage of it, guys. Uh, why you can and don't work against it, you know? Uh, yeah, I know. I hear that sound too. It's like, what the hell? I don't hear it. <clears throat> oh, you don't? <clears throat> oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> they got me hacked. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and they hit they, there. <clears throat> said, where's Wagga? <laughs> wow, I don't even care to hear what Wagga got to say. Wagga's just going to be talking his old people stuff. But uh, <laughs> he's one of the boomers. He's one of those boomers. <laughs> he gonna find out the hard way when <laughs> when he come in and he like uh, I'll be playing the beat and you like oh man that is the most firest boom bap beat I ever heard in my life yeah and and my computer generated it <laughs> I 
fail the hearing <laughs> test. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, tell you guys again, all the resources will be in the description box. Make sure that you check out uh, Jim at AudioLabs.com uh, if you uh, want a job opportunity because uh, that was uh, presented by Berkeley. This is Berkeley right here, uh, one of the co-founders behind Emergent Drums. So, yeah, again, thanks. Thank you. I appreciate the time. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>